Welcome to today's Grow It Green. I'm joined virtually by Emma Erler of UNH Cooperative Extension. Emma, when it comes to vegetable gardens, I think just about every gardener's pride and joy are their tomato plants. But it also causes so many problems for them. And I guess we're going to talk about a couple of common problems that you may be seeing this time of year. Absolutely. So everybody has to have their tomatoes. And unfortunately, there are a couple of common uh, fungal diseases that most gardeners deal with, you know, at some point or another. So one is called septoria leaf spot, and another one is called early blight. Both of these diseases cause spots on the leaves, you know, starting with the older leaves and moving up the plant. And the early blight will also cause lesions on the fruit. Okay. So what do I want to look for? Are they different colored uh, spots or black spots? What do we have here? So they're going to look a little bit different. Uh, septoria leaf spot, or it's going to be very small spots that are sometimes ringed with yellow. The early blight is actually brown spots that look like they have concentric rings. But for all intents and purposes, if you're seeing spots on the leaves of your tomato, it's easy enough to just call it blight. Know that you have a fungal disease going on. All right. So is it a matter of removing these leaves? Do I spray these leaves? How do we treat this uh, fungus among us? Well, the first thing you can do, and this is something that you'll think about for next season, is trying to rotate where you plant tomatoes in your garden. Both septoria leaf spot and early blight will actually overwinter in garden soil. So any debris that you aren't able to clean up from your garden uh, will potentially harbor those fungal pathogens. Now for, you know, everybody has their plants in the ground. Uh, what you mentioned there, removing the leaves. As soon as you see infected leaves, go ahead and pluck those off the plant that can help limit infection. Another really important thing is mulching the soil to prevent soil from splashing up onto those leaves during rain events, which have fortunately been happening lately. And uh, one final thing that I really think you should pay attention to is how you water your tomatoes. So if you do have to water them, make sure that you're watering in the morning so that the leaves will dry out quickly with the sun. And try to just water the base, don't get the foliage wet. Okay, and that way you should be able to enjoy your tomatoes, your harvest, be the pride of the neighborhood this year. That's right? That's right. <laughs> and that's it for today's Grow It Green.